Today we have the Hornet Artillery 3D printer. So I like their logo. It's kind of a cool logo. And let's get this thing open up, see what we got inside. This is a very large box. All right. Let's get this opened up, shall we? So we've got a pretty standard packing foam here. This looks to be the spool holder. So this is the tool bag. That's a nice little bag. It's got a USB to USB. It's got a, a SD card. We've got. I guess that's the that's the SD card reader. A couple replacement switches. A couple bearings. All right, and in here we have our tools. And more tools. All right, that's kind of a nice little touch there. Up to the side, and this appears to be my Bowden tube, but I've got connections here. The instruction manual. All right, this is kind of cool. So I can get this out. There we go. It's got a label there. And I'm going to guess inside of that is the uh, print head. All right, let's get some of this packing out first. Do not remove before finish assembly. Okay, so I guess this is going to be a protective cover for the build plate. That's about build plate size. And this device is zip tight here. There's that. Okay. And there we go. So first things off the bat, I do like the fact that the, this is not attached to this already. I do find it interesting though that it comes included with a handle. All right. And next piece of foam to come out is you maybe? There we go. That off the side. And then, oh, here's our power cord. Nothing else in there. Let's get the print head out of right here. It looks like we have two fans for cooling. Alright, um, now how do I get this guy out? Okay, so this guy just looks like And that should be the box out of our way now. All right. Go ahead and lower this a bit. Right off the bat, we have our dial uh, controller. And I'm not gonna remove it. This is a textured build plate. That's nice. And underneath here, I can see some foil for heat. All right, well, next thing to do is open up the instructions, make sure I'm missing any pieces, and I guess I should start coming back with assembly. All right, as with most of these partially pre-assembled units, our first task is going to be getting this piece attached to this piece, which is also usually always the most cumbersome. I haven't figured out a really good way of doing that just yet. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I want to take this, this and 
line it up over here using the pre-installed bolts here. They're already came partially in, uh, inserted. Let's go ahead and just tighten this side down a little bit. Don't want to get it all the way just yet. Just to get it started. And same with bolt number two. And then we're going to rotate this entire unit 180 degrees and do it on the other side. Being very careful not to try to bend, twist, or misalign anything. Let's get you over here so you can see what I'm doing. And right in here as well. Now, since I've already got the other side started, I will go ahead and cinch and tighten this one down. Just so I can flip it over and do it again on the other side. As I'm tightening this down, I can actually feel the carriage actually squaring up, which is good. And rotate it all back to the side again. All right, and tighten this down one last little bit. If this shifts, the whole print shifts. All right, let's go ahead and set that up now. And we have some wiring to take care of. This is gonna plug in over here. You got a small little plug here as well. It's that and Next thing to do is carriage assembly. We need three screws and one of the Allen wrenches that came with it. I'm going to go ahead and snap the zip tie. Get that out of the way. And now it's a matter of just installing the carriage onto the gantry. I want to use the center one first. Probably be a little bit easier to get the other ones in after that. Alright, got that one started. Now I'm not going to tighten it down all the way, I'm just going to get it snug. Start working on the other two, that way I can pivot.
Same story on these other two until I get all three in. Alright, now that all three are in, I'm going to come back and tighten them all up. Now that carriage is in place and the hot ends all connected, we're going to take our extruder cable. These ends are interchangeable, they really matter. But this is going to slide right into here and then we're going to tighten it down with this nut. All right, so that's now locked in place. Now the cool thing is, not only is that the feeder, but that's also the data port too. Helps clean up some of the lines. All right, now we have this cable back here. We're gonna plug it in back here. I don't know if I can get a good look at that. That just snaps right into place. And if this connection looks familiar, then it's right from over here. Let's go ahead and put that in place. Nice and snug. Wonderful. And let's get this zip tie out of our way too. Oh, I already got that one. All right, next thing we're gonna need to do Again, using one of the included tools, right here, is there's a belt tensioner on this side of the carriage. Using the nice handle, I'm flip this around, and see if I can't get a hold of that belt tensioner. Huh? right underneath here. Okay, a little bit more. Alright, kind of like that. Alright. And we also have similar tensioners over here and here as well. All right, now comes everybody's favorite part of 3D printing, leveling the print bed. Now, I have completed assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plate. Now, the primary reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna make sure I got a good connection to my actual build plate itself. And secondly, this is a heated bed. So I'd rather not, you know, put anything on fire. All right, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and power this up. Using the included panel down here. We're going to go to temperature, main nozzle bed, preheat PLA. And preheat PLA. There we go. So that's going to heat up both the bed and my print nozzle. And the reason why you do that is things expand and contract a bit when they get hot or cold. So you want to make sure that the distance between this and this is as if it were printing. Now this is going to take a couple minutes to get done, so I'll be back. 
Okay, so we are now preheated all up. We've got 200 degree temperature for our nozzle, and we've got a 7 degree temperature for our bed. So we're going to go ahead and go into motion, and we're going to go to bed leveling, and we're going to level the bed. So it's going to home my X, Y, Z, my X, Z axis as best I can guess. And click to begin. Right there is what that says. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And it's going to be next point one of nine. So what we're doing now is we're going to take a piece of printer paper and we're going to slide this under here. And we're looking for the faintest amount of resistance. So I'm going to use this knob to tighten it up a bit. Helps I go the right direction. There we go. Be careful, this build plate should be hot. There's still no resistance there. So that's a little bit too much resistance. There you go, I can feel the resistance now here. So, you're only going to move the knob closest to the nozzle during this setup. So we're going to go ahead and click here. Next point, two of nine. And we're going to repeat this process until all points are done. All right, so leveling is now done. Now, the importance of leveling is so great that even in the instruction manual included, they advise, go ahead and run this one or two more times just to make sure everything is done. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with that part, so we'll be back once that's done. All right, we have finished our leveling. We've gone through it two or three times, make sure we like how everything's at. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get some filament loaded in here. I'm going to come down to change filament, and we're going to go to load filament. And it looks like the carrier rises off the bed a little bit. You can hear the wheels turning here. I'm going to load this under spool. And go ahead and feed it into the small little tube here. can feel it gripping it. There it goes. Let's go ahead and get you a better look over here what that looks like. So we're going to there. We're waiting for filament to purge. It's feeding it nice and smoothly. And we're going to purge some more. We haven't quite got any coming out of our head yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at that head now. And we're waiting for some of that lovely pink to come out of there. Purge more. Would have liked to be able to see how much has gone through here, but 
Bridge more. There's our first couple of strings coming out. One more purge should get us a pretty smooth flow now. And it looks like this head was tested to something else. So I'm getting a nice, waiting for the clean pink to show up here. There we go. That's starting to look pretty good. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and clear this off because I don't want that in my print and we're going to come down here to continue I'm going to go ahead and load the included macro SD uh, oh, sorry, the uh, microSD adapter. We've got a 4 gigabyte microSD in here. And let's see what goodies they have loaded for us, shall we? So I'm going to come over to here, and we're going to go down to print from media. And I like the GQ, uh, Cube G code. Let's go ahead and print that. Let's see what surprises they have in store for us. Let's go ahead and look here. So the bed is now heating. It should be aiming for 70 degrees centigrade. And it's kicking up the hot end to 210. My PLA has a print temperature that's in that range. All right, print head is now at 210. Print bed is at 70. Let's see what surprises they have in store for us, shall we? Right away, first layer is going down. It looks like this is just going to be a wipe layer. And it puts it right up here up front. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how that looks. So that came out real smooth. I'd like to point out that the motors, the steppers here, are actually really quiet. And that first layer is going down nice and pretty. I'll be back when this is done. I don't normally come back mid-print, but this thing's going absolutely crazy fast and it's still whisper quiet. The fans are cooler than the servos. All right, this print just finished. I've done no calibrations other than just the uh, bed leveling, and this is the included cube. So, pretty good lines here. We've got a little bit of ringing here, which could be the table that it's sitting on. And a pretty decent top layer as well. This isn't the best thing to showcase its ability, so I'll have to find another print to do. But this is a... Here we go.